Welcome back awesome Ashley fans and subscribers. I'm going to be reviewing here a Merzam Combat Spacecraft. Um, I saw it and I thought, you know what, I'd buy it. It looks a bit too square and blocky. Almost like it's from Minecraft. Um, but it's a Spaceship 118. And yes, the box is battered. It's an old box, but it does appear to be complete. And it wasn't that expensive, so I thought I would try my luck and get one and see what it's like. So let's open this up and let's have a look. And it does come with a figure which is pretty cool. I've reviewed these figures before, and you can see that in the suggested videos somewhere up there, maybe. Okay, easy to come out of the box, apart from this last part. Okay, I think that's in there. Um, we're gonna have a load of these cable things on the bottom. It's like, oh, so many. Okay, I see, I see. Uh, I'm just going to pause this video a second and get myself a little knife I just purchased today just to cut this off and make it a bit quicker. So give me a second, I'll come right back. Okay, I am back. Let's cut away. And most of the rest is going to be twisting and taking stuff off. Let's do that as fast as I can, so as not to bore you too much. I'm quite looking forward to this. It's nice to have a 118 spacecraft. I've got another 118 spacecraft. I don't mean Star Wars, other than Star Wars, which I will, uh, or sci-fi ship, I should say, which I will do a comparison with uh, a little later. But this one's going to be bigger. I think there's like four more, so many. In fact, no, there's only uh, about three more in there. They really are doing this really, really too, too secure. But these don't take too long, these ones, and they're all the same way, so it's quite easy to unwind. Okay, so here, get my knife again. Four more in here. Now I'm winding the opposite way, trying to confuse me now. Okay. Two more to go. Thank you for your patience. You are second in the queue. A customer service operator will be with you shortly. Okay, one more, and then we can get inside and have a look at what it's actually like. Oh, no, I'm telling you a lie. Another one again. They're really going over the top with this. Okay, so Spacecraft out. It's got little wheels which I'm not keen on. Never mind. Oh, it's got a silver effect. Let's see that. I think it's just black. Quite like a silver effect. Uh, it comes with these two projectile missiles which really fire. And I'll take them out, but I might just glue them in. The firing missiles don't interest me in the slightest. So if I was about 10 years old, I'd be like, wow. And then the figure, which is 
I'll do that in two. I've got like three or four of these, or five of him, I think, maybe. But articulation and the shoulders is like, no, because they're sculpt. But they look really quite menacing. If you're into like sci fi stuff, do get some of these because you will like them a lot. I mean, it looks different to the previous one I've got, maybe. Uh, and then he's got some guns, which I have to cut out with a knife again. Because they're behind plastic. Wow. Okay, let's have a look at the guy first. Uh, I'm not sure if he's the same as the other one, but I he looks different with these sort of tube things, wire things. Maybe I'm just not remembering. Lovely figure, just that these shoulders do get in the way of articulation. Uh, again, I think I said earlier, I'll put it up in just the video so you can see. Really cool. And his guns are pretty awesome. He has this gun here, which is like, yeah, that's nice. Draw that barrel onto a winner. And this like sort of, Little mini gun here with three barrels, but tiny ammo clip or you know, tiny ammunition holder there. Run out in about half a second. Oh, finished. But it does look really cool again. These two missiles fit into these are different shapes. How peculiar! That's quite nice. Into here somehow. Okay. And it says press button and it is fixed in place. Oops. Doesn't want to fire. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I wonder why not. That one does not want to fire, but I'm not too fussed. Okay, so, uh, on wheels, which I don't like, it is a kid's toy. Um, it's a two-man spaceship, but the back part here is open. There's no screen, let's get this band off. And it's quite amusing, I have a manual... Oh, move my handles. A manual gun on the back, with handles that move, some of them sitting in and operate. Uh, this comes up, or out, I don't know how. It looks like a hinge going frontwise. I'm going to break that if I'm not careful. I don't really want to break it. Uh, this gun here, we've got a little up and down move, which is nice, but not enough. There's no side to side, but the handles do move, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and some. I would be tempted. Like a light on there or something? There's some sort of thing on the bottom here, like a button or a latch, different sort of plastic material. I'd be tempted to cut off these wheels. Or unscrew and take that part out because they are separate. And same with this front part here, it just looks a bit. Yeah. Okay, um, I've got to see now how we're going to get this part open on here. Because in order to sit your figures in, of which it fits two, you have to take that off. Um, there appears to be perhaps a simple hinge in the front here. You can see that sort of part there. But it's not clear if it is, and it's quite actually that's a difficult, it's not it's not a, not a hinge, it's a clip. Okay. Cockpit. I like that cockpit. You've got a single control stick which doesn't move. A chair which can work for one side particularly, the other side it still works, but not as good. And it's sort of textured plastic flooring. And you've got these sort of stickers or paint. Is it stickers or paint? Work? No, they, they, they appear to be stickers on here, which actually work really quite well. This is quite nicely done. Um, I'm not sure how he's going to fit in there and hold everything. Let me give him a try and see. Oh, 
Blimey. With his legs and feet, he's not going to fit in there very easily, I can tell you. Just bend his legs and point his feet forwards and he should be a lot better. Okay. Actually fits in pretty damn cool. And the other side, that's where the trouble's gonna be because there's no foot space on the other side. And they can't stand up because he'll be way too big if he stands. To put the canopy on. Um, make it like a horse stance or something. That's getting closer to the required position. Mm. But maybe that's why the back part isn't complete. Let me have a look at this back in. There's still not enough space to move them around there. But it looks quite cool. Um. I quite like it. Okay, so I'm going to compare this to a ship that looks much nicer than this, but the other ship is just... Woo, the problem with the other ship is it's too small. And that other ship is, I will put it in my uh, suggested videos again, is a Terminator Hunter Killer, which is an awesome looking ship, but look, it's tiny in comparison. It's just not bulk enough, it's too small. It's uh, maybe as wide if you're including the engines, but it's just the smallest ship. This does take a figure, and very amusingly, the figure it takes actually goes inside underneath. And it's not really a cockpit, it's just an open hatch, which is a bit unfortunate. And I say it's unusual because in the movies, they weren't controlled by Terminator. their own sort of type of Terminator, if I remember rightly, from years ago. Uh, I prefer the aesthetic of this. I prefer the size of this, I just don't like those wheels, and I'm getting some sort of impression that these are for, these are lights, because they're like a clear plastic, but there are no buttons on the back as well, there are no buttons I can see, and there's no place for batteries, I thought maybe this sort of hatch thing here, but there's no way for that to come up, that's obvious, without unscrewing loads of stuff, I do, I quite like the front as well, like a sort of gun here and that sort of silver effect on the, on the top does look pretty cool better so, better so than the sides uh, I just wish that these parts here weren't stuck in that sort of upwards position it's got to like, fly like that to shoot straight not a bad looking, make, um, looking vehicle I wouldn't buy another one but I will be tempted to customise that quite a bit in terms of paintwork and stuff and taking the, uh, the wheels off maybe even removing these guns, I think look better without those guns. More like a fast shuttle then. Uh, but that's something I'll consider again in about 50 years time. When I'm living at my own place when it's finished building and I'm not working in China anymore and blah 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 etc. But not a bad little toy, I quite like that. And again, I do like this figure a lot. I think this is my fifth one I've got now. Maybe I'll buy a couple more in the future since they're quite cheap here. And they're good base of customs I think. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out, and I am saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to more Awesome Action videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting, and please click on the notification icon, the one shaped like a bell, to stay up to date latest uploads, videos, reviews, etc. Okay? Bye-bye.